ชิมวยโกกวยโบอะเซเนเปียบีล่ะเอเมนอาเซอาลอมิมิชิเดเนียกาเนมัตเตยเปียบีดอจนเลยพยาธิเกอชิมวยโกกวยโบอ๋อจ
Amen. Praise God. Mingalaba. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, we have a new interpreter. Praise the Lord. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
thank you, O oh God, for your presence here. I thank you for the people that you have brought this morning. It is not by chance. It is not by coincidence, but it is by your Holy Spirit that you have brought them here. To be blessed, to receive your word, and we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody say, Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you all to do something for me. Put your finger up. Yes. Say one. One. Four. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> One for Jesus. One for Jesus. All right. Elin Church has uh, embarked on this initiative. That is one for Jesus. It was introduced by uh, Brother Jason Wong. God gave him a vision when he was at the National Stadium. That you remember the celebration of hope we had before? Mm. And, and the Bishop Ponia of the... the uh, the National Council of Churches in Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, bishop. And he made a statement. The church in Singapore is not growing. And he was uh, emphasizing uh, the growth of the church in our country. So, Brother Jason Wong, the Holy Spirit just put this inside his heart. That God wants each and every one of us as Christians to win one so for Jesus in 10 years time. Oh, That you engage with someone who doesn't know about Jesus is not a Christian. And for the next 10 years, bring this soul to Jesus. In 10 years, can it be done? Yes? Yes, everybody agreed. That means we're going to look at how are we going to do it. Yeah. But if you are a soul winner, you don't have to wait for 10 years. <laughs> right? You can win every soul once a month. You can do it. Go ahead. So in 10 years' time, the population of Christianity in Singapore will grow, will explode. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise How many of you have non-believing friends here? In your, in your family or in your country? Who are not Christians? How many of you? Oh, yeah, I think that's, that's more than that, huh? Yeah, someone that do, is a Buddhist. Yeah, I think Myanmar is a Buddhist country, correct? Oh. Yeah. And if you have someone that is do not know about Christ, and I'm sure you have one, at least one. And, you know, we are going, my title this morning is Friendship Evangelism. 
Friendship evangelism. Engaging our unbelieving friends through our life testimony. Nowadays, it's very difficult to go for street evangelism. So we want to introduce this friendship to be a friend to, to this individual. You know, Abraham was said to be the friend of God, right? Abraham When you receive Christ, you are the friend of Christ. But many times we don't understand what it means to be a friend. The worldly people, the world, yeah, the people, when they mix friends, is that they go and drink, they go and enjoy themselves. You know? Yeah. In, in Jesus said, You are my friends if you do what I command. That's John 15 14. It's not on the screen, yeah. All right. And Abraham was a friend of God. Abraham King David was also a friend of God. So God wants we are, wants us to be befriend the unbeliever. So As much as we experience the the, the friendship of God. We want our relatives, our friends, our brother, our sister who are Buddhist or, or Hindu or whatever you know religion they are in, to know that God is a friend and He's not an enemy. Now the Bible tells us that in Proverbs 18:24. Yeah, okay, you go ahead. Mm, See, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And that's where Jesus is. Yes, Jesus is from is a Jew. I'm sure there are some of you who have friends that are closer than your brother or your sister. Right? Sometimes the brother and sister become like enemies in the house. They like to fight. <laughs> they are friends that are closer than your brother or your sister. Huh? Yeah. And in Proverbs 17, 17 says, A friend loves at all times. So And the, the quote that we're going to see, the next slide. It, it, says, yeah, it says they are friends, there is family, then they are friends that become family. Mm. How many of you have been coming to EMCF for the past seven or eight years? More than that, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you are already the family. Your, ah. your EMCF is a family also. Uh, so the second slide 
the next one true friends are never apart maybe in distance but never in heart ตาเลยติดหนอนอ่ะปาซาเปียนทาเราสิ้นมันเนี่ยตะเงยจริงๆตะคาลิเปโรมะมาวีนี่ตะคาลิเราจะมาเราหนีได้ไทยเนี่
There is about, I think, about 100 or 90 over people here. So if each one of you began to pray, every day, that is the only prayer that God will answer. Sometimes when we pray for work, we are not sure whether God will answer. Right. When, we, when we pray for a boyfriend or girlfriend, we are not sure whether it's the right one or not. <laughs> but, but let me guarantee you, when you pray for an unsaved soul to be saved, God will do it. Amen. Amen. God does not want anyone to go to hell. That's why he came down, he died for us, and he conquered death by the resurrection. By his resurrection. And one day he will come back. And he will bring us to be with him forever. Wow, that is a blessed hope. We are living right now in what Matthew chapter 24 is telling us. So the last days. There is war and rumors of war. Yeah. The fulfillment of that verse is already shaking us up already. Now in John chapter 15 verse 15. Uh, mm. Amen. Jesus said that for all that I've heard from the Father, I have made known to all of you. Mm. Now, when you first became a Christians, Christian, what is the first thing that God showed you? It's the mala. When you first became a Christian, what did God show you? He said, God, Jesus said, I've made known to you. What's that? His love. Yeah, his love. His love. Huh? How about your job? Besides love? Besides love. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love your wife. <laughs> yes, God will be with us wherever we go. His, his presence. He yes. promised us his presence. No, even our best friend cannot be with us every day, correct? Yeah. As much as we want to be with our best friend, we like to talk, we like to drink coffee, you know. Yeah. But Jesus said, I have called you friend and I'll be with you. Secondly, alright, how do we be true befrienders? How do we be true befrienders? Now, as you read in Job chapter 2, verse 11 to 13, uh, Alright, your sister will read first. To Nima Amuda so party who do, Yoba ye as we came on to Yauto di, Tuna Yauto, e a muji, a long song to go, the danger, Lin, Yobani and do ye to a ye, to go, Nete Sejinga, Siwe me, change at the a die, a titi, Mimiro near, a yama, Yaula jai, 
ထိုသူတို့ဒီအဝေးကမျော်ကြီးရွေ့ယောဘကိုမတိလျင်အသံကိုလွှင့်ရွေ့ငိုကြွေးကြာကြီးအတိတိမိမိတို့ဝတ်
no one said a word, but they saw how great his suffering was. Mm. Yeah, these are Job's good friends. I know when you read about Job and his three friends, yes, they have their, their own opinions regarding what Job is going through. Yes. But you cannot deny that without the three friends, the book of Job will not be written. Yeah? Sometimes in the book of Job, it tells us that when your friend is suffering, you just have to keep quiet and pray for them. Don't judge them. Alright, next slide. Now the slide the Is there a next slide? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't have. No, no, all right, okay, never mind. Like, oh, okay, oh. that's me, all right. That's me, and behind me is my friend. Oh, that thing is His name is Patrick. Uh, that, uh, he's, my he's my childhood friend. Yeah. We were living behind here, St. George's Road. Yeah. Last time, St. George's Road, there is no HDB. Eh? Oh, it is you know, those at that house. Yeah, that's where I came from, from a very poor family. Alright. And, and, yeah, and he's so he's just staying behind our our place. So when we were we were teenagers actually. Yeah. And every time we were together, we were best friends. And when I came to the Lord, I began to share with him. You know, sometimes he comes to my house and stay, and sometimes I go to his house and stay. We play marbles. You know what's marbles? Uh, yeah, okay. All right, fly kite. You know, yeah, during our childhood days. And, um, he, he's not a believer. He have not received Christ yet. So uh, when I received Christ, I began to share with him. Yeah. Mm. I remember we were sitting on, sleeping on the bed and I began to talk to him about Christ. Uh, I remember that when it was very small. So know. after that, the government asked us to vacate and go to, because they are developing, you know, asked us to vacate, and we went to, I went to Amokyo, he went to Topayo. Oh, so, yeah. so as we grew up, we, we lost touch. So I, went, I went full-time ministry, he was working, he went to China, and we lost touch about almost 20 years. Mm. But within that 20 years, I, 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 when I came back from one of my mission trips, I heard that his uh, father passed away. Oh, yeah. so I realized, oh, this is my chance to go and see him. Yeah. So when I went to the funeral, it was a Buddhist funeral. Yeah. Mm. So I went and talked to him, you know, and as a long time we have not seen, so we talked, talked, talked. And then as I was leaving, I saw him went and kneeled down in front of the monk, the Buddhist monk. And then I whispered a prayer. Yeah. And then I whispered a prayer. I said, Lord, Save Patrick. Just like that. You know. And then after that, after a few years, 20 years time, when I came back here to Singapore, and I managed to contact him. I met his brother actually, in a, in, because my mother was not well in the hospital. The brother came and visited my mother. <laughs> so I asked, how's Patrick? So oh, Patrick is still alive. <laughs> so, oh, can I have his contact or not? So, oh, so I got his contact and then I managed to call him, contact him. So I said, hi Patrick, hey Derek, hey, how are you? 
for you. Well, we all began to talk and say, hey, yeah, I'm attending this church. Huh? I mean, you, you're a Christian now? Say, yeah, I accepted the Lord. You know, wow, he was, I was so happy. He was married, he was married with two kids. The whole family is attending the church and he's not just a Christian. Huh? He's serving in the church there and he tell me about Christ. No, he's the one that tells me about Christ. Yeah. So you, you, yeah, you never know what God can do, even though sometimes you don't contact, but when you begin to pray for them. Huh? So right now we're going to look at how to be a true befriender. How to be a true befriender. First, being intentional. Prepare your heart through prayer. When maybe you have not met your, fr your friend for a long time or this individual in your office, on your school, in your workplace, or your ama, or those who are uh, domestic helpers, you know, if your the family is not Christian, you know, pray for them. Prepare your heart. I have a lot of testimonies to tell you, but I don't have the time. All right, this is one of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One of it is my boss. I, I was working before I became a pastor. Oh, uh, his, his mouth is very bad, very bad mouth. He call you, he call your mother, all the F word all come out. <laughs> but one day he gave his heart to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, prepare your heart through prayer and know that this is a spiritual warfare. So, yes, it is a spiritual warfare. When you begin to pray for this individual, the devil is not happy. He will make all kinds of distractions. But you must continue to pray for them. And in, I believe in 10 years' time, maybe less or more, I do not know, God is going to save this person. Amen. Next, being open. When you talk to them, be open. Mm. When I said be open, don't pretend that oh, you know, you're a religious person. Don't put, all, put a false picture as a Christian, you know, mm. that kind of thing. Be real. Be a real person. Let them know you have your struggles, you have pain, you suffer also. Don't say things like, God will bless you, God will protect you from all sicknesses and disease. No. Uh, you still go through your struggles, but God will strengthen you. Amen. Yeah. Mm. God will give you peace. God will give you strength as you go through life. And number three, being a safe space. Yourself being a space safe. Meaning that don't judge. Yeah. Sometimes we hear the person's problem, we want to judge them. Yeah. So now today I here to check out. Say long or maybe he's uh, he wants to keep borrowing money from you. All this, you ask God for wisdom. 
You don't have to lend them money all the time. <laughs> I experienced that when I was in Philippines. <laughs> yeah. But be a space, a safe space. Don't judge them. Yeah. And let them know that you can be trusted. What the, yeah, what the person share with you, you don't go around, hey, sh- 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 hey this person, hey, then, you know, you got another girlfriend. Man. You know, uh, <laughs> Finish, that's it. <laughs> no good. Uh, be a safe space. Let the person know that you can be trusted. Yeah. Don't go around and gossip about his, 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 his affairs or whatever. He's an alcoholic, he's a drinker, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, don't do that. And being helpful. Yeah. Like Job's friend, being helpful. Now, this is being a bit tricky. Yeah? Being helpful and I talk about money. Sometimes they come and bo- want to borrow money from you. All right, you have to be wise. Yeah. You have to be careful that just because you befriend the person doesn't mean that you have to always give the person help them in their finances. No, you don't. Yeah. Learn how to say no. Yeah. Yes. And tell them why you 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 cannot give you the money anymore. Because if you kept helping this individual, you are feeding his mm. chronic borrowing. You understand mm. what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It, be, it becomes like a habit for them. So you are the person to cut that off and tell mm. them and share to them about God. Amen. Now, I don't have this verse with you, but if you can flash this verse in <coughs> Myanmar, it'd be good. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. Yeah. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. Shema de Kroen, can you set it in your sacco? I do the way you so nine or come, Marie. The son, uh, the, son of man. the son of man come eating and drinking, and they say, Here is a gluten and a drink, a friend or tax collector and sinner, but wisdom is proper by heart. Okay, mm. all right. Can you set it again? It says that they, they criticize this uh, uh, religious teachers, criticize Jesus. So, the young they have here, the king sugar, a con candy, the Harina Pound, a comma, Paris, the king sugar, the Lumu in a pound, so we are gay. So, Jesus came eating and drinking, you know, and they say he is a glutton. Glutton, that means he like, uh, uh, like to uh, eat uh, all uh, the time. Sadio, you do the Pedro, the Chelo, Lumu, and Sarah, the Pedro, so so so. Jesus is a friend of tax collector and sinners. You know why? Because Jesus go to them. Yes. He went to the drunkards. He went to these people who just find pleasure in eating. He went to the tax collector, the one that always collects money. So, all these sinners, all these are considered sinners. So, the last verse, if you read, but wisdom is proved right by her deeds. That means Jesus did not follow them in their sin. The reason Jesus joined them is to 
tell them about the kingdom of God. Amen. The king is sure to do in it to do a video to do a shiny gay got to do you repeat to a way and do a maho to do a go pay out the king and I know a job of your PR boy and do it introduce to them that even whoever whatever they are God still loves them and God wants to save them. So to give you a genetic I got me not a blue room you're a baby in the box if you're taking a chit day getting jingle page in this way I will be a double your PR way and what pounding it. Amen. So this is how this morning I will share with you that we need to look at the unbelievers, the Buddhists, the Hindus, the Muslims, in the eyes of God. And as we learn how to be true befrienders, we can bring them to Christ. Amen? And as I, I've mentioned, this is the only prayer that God will answer. So, this morning I would like to challenge you. As we hear the message, number one, target the unbeliever. Target them. This is the person, is Ama, uncle, mm. you know, those who are working as domestic, or the daughter, or the Husband, you know, you target them and begin to pray for them. Your colleague in the working place. One thing you can do, choose the most nasty one. <laughs> <laughs> Who always give you problem. <laughs> That's what I do with my boss, you know. He's really nasty. Sometimes he pressure me until I couldn't sleep at night. I thought that I couldn't meet my target, you know, because I work in the computer making computer uh, 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 software those those kind of those huge computers so he wants the target to be met and wow you know the next one is pray every day for this person. Third, engage and befriend this person. Ask God to give you the strength, the humility. So to be friend, to make friends with him. So di kota kat hari lalu ni dekai, we jenpa jen ni bi pao ni tengah jen mewujud lah naik boleh ya, dua belu lalu amle. Sometimes it's not easy, yeah. Sometimes you they treat you and then wah, you also want get angry with them. Yeah. Ask God, Lord, if God is able to save this person, yeah, you will change. Yes. Tapi jono jono malu, yang kapi me, piat kena luk me soi, piang le bi naik nampi de. Then number four, prepare your testimony. How God save you? Prepare and See how are you? One day he will come and ask you a question. Uh, how are you going to answer? Yeah. Now, the general to check out. Go ahead. That they can check. Go ahead. Pin sent away. Pin. Go ahead. 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 I do not know how long is your contract, ah, huh? <laughs> some of you. <laughs> but maybe it's not ten years. Maybe God's grace give you two years during a contract, and the person got saved. Wow. So di mana dia bilang lepas saya ni lama mahu bu, nanti lepas ni macam ini, akan dah masih bu. Adi tu, tak kira tak kira tu, tu yang bilang lepas ni, aku baca muda tapi lo kosong mu pade. All right, this is what we're gonna do. How many of you come in with this, oh, this little egg? <laughs> All right, everybody. Who don't have? Who doesn't have? Who doesn't have? Put up your hand. You can pass it to you. All right. Okay. Maybe you can pass the slip of paper to them now. The ushers can help them make it faster. All right. And if you have, if you have a pen, you, you can get ready your pen. And those of you who do not have pen, you can raise up and tell the ushers, "I need a pen or a marker." All right. Yeah. Okay. If you have a pen, you can use your own pen. I know last week Pastor Esther did this, right? If, if you have already written the name 
All right, then keep that paper with you. Uh, right. uh, go, hey, yeah. go, if last week, if you have she. done it, then you can put, and you don't have to write. All right, use that paper and that name that you have. Now, why I use the egg? It's not Easter egg. Huh? It's not Easter egg. Egg is a symbol of life. But do you need to know that Easter egg is a symbol of life? Before the chick hatch, there is life inside the egg. Now, if you want to know that the egg is a symbol of life, so what I want you to do now is write the name that you want this person to be saved. Yeah. You can write two names or one or two. If you want to write more, also go ahead. But one is preferred. So, yeah. so you can focus on it. Yeah, you can focus on this individual. Alright? i give you uh, one minute to do that. You can just write the name. အနေဆုံးတရောက်ဖြင့်ကောင်းပါတယ်တရောက်ထက်ဖို့လဲရပါတယ်ဒါပေမဲ့အနေဆုံးတရောက်ဖြစ်စေခြင်းပါတယ်
Okay, before that, let's pray. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold up your egg if you have that name. All right. Okay, ask Pastor Esther to pray the best. Yes. ไม่ยาเลยลูกชีล่ะชีลูกชีล่ะท่องไปบ้านเนาะหอบบีจมารุดีเจ้าอุเลยแท้มาบาชีเลยช็อกโกแลตมีรามงอ๋อเราว่า